Yeah. So I'm not really sure how well this live test is going to go, but this is going to get you an idea of how, I don't know, a construction site, job trailer, you might have a bunch of battery chargers kind of charging as you're driving down the road, honestly. You got solar panels on top of your cargo trailer. And uh, yeah, so here's how our load management system works. Uh, just a idea. We've got, gosh, two Milwaukee's, two Makita's, two Makita's uh, on each, each channel. So you can see um, basically, gosh, stop zooming. There you go. So channel four comes in, plugs into channel four, but that's basically all of these light bulbs and that outlet. So you'll see we got four, three, two, one. And on one, I've got my power cord. Follow the orange cord. Here you go. And this goes to my table saw. So let's just say, you know, we're on a job site. We've got ideal solar conditions. I am working with, geez, 990 watts per meter squared. And just to give you an idea, with a 1500 watt array, that's four 385 watt panels. That's almost a usable 1500 watts of power. So DC direct, we've got eight panels, but I only have four hooked up. And yes, I am running the sprinkler, but I want these things clean. So two wires, simple plug and play, DC MC4 connectors, and bam, you are set up live, ready to go. Uh, but yeah, let's just see what happens here. Uh, as load draw is too much for what power is happening, it's designed to click off these priority loads. So four, three, two, more than likely will turn all the way off as I'm using this table saw. And the real test is, is there enough inrush current? Is there enough capacitance in this design to allow for that motor to get going? We shall see. Let me prop you up right here. This might be a painful process. Let me see. Okay, that's okay. Decent enough. It might be crooked. So sorry. Hey, Ann, let's check this out. <laughs> Let's check out how this thing works. So you can see channel four and three and two were off. And as my saw load dropped, it said, hey, go ahead and give power back to these outlets. And we are charging now. Heck yeah. All right, so roughly our inrush current, oh, that was my max. Um, oh shoot, that was 7.5 amps, but that's only on channel two, which is two chargers. The uh, orange cord is on channel one. but. From prior tests, which you will see in other videos, I pull about 16.6 .6 amps of inrush current to get this saw going. I do apologize for my messy shop. Don't look behind me, but stay tuned because this is amazing. We're making waves. This is awesome. Tests are just unending and I'm having fun. Love it. Peace.